Welcome to Winning Conversations. We are so glad you are here. We are wrapping up our couple series with a fun conversation with Danny and Trina Hill, our worship pastor and his lovely wife. They are a sweet couple. They have a super touching story about how the Lord brought them together. And we hope that you are really blessed by it. So let's go ahead and jump in. We are here with Danny and Trina Hill. We're so excited to have you guys. We just want to start and we want to hear your story. I know we've heard on this podcast, we've heard Danny yes. uh, tell yes. kind of the transition to, to Texas for your family, but we don't really know your story, your love story, how y'all came to be the yeah. Hills. So yeah. open it, up. There's that. definitely a love story. I'm, I'm going to yes. go ahead and start it hey, off. Hey, you always want me to start things off. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies first. Ladies yes. first. Well, um, we met in 1992. He okay, was, I was born. The point, <laughs> yeah. <Wow. laughs> There's a church on my street, and I never really, you know, my family wouldn't grow up in church or anything, but it was always sitting there. And a childhood close friend of mine, we were walking, and we heard all this noise, like a lot of noise. So I opened the door. It was like the Holy Spirit just like opened the door. And I opened the door, and all these young kids were like crying out to God and just... I mean, it was amazing. I never seen that before. And I walked in and we walked in and from that day we joined the choir and um that that was actually their last day of being there on that block. Never heard never heard of abundant life or anything. It's just that and that, that was Danny's choir. That was Danny's choir. Okay. Yes. And we walked in and I mean, it caught my eye to see like 17, 18, 19, even 40 year olds just crying out to God, tears and everything. And I didn't know only know anything about that because I didn't grow up in church. So for me, that was like, wow, what is this? What, did it scare you or did were you like, I want to know what this I is? I want to know what this <laughs> is. Yeah. Like, what is this? And from that day, we joined the choir and, you know, I was singing on the choir for about what? Some years. Yeah, a lot of yeah. years. Several, several years. years. Several, several years. Several okay. years, yeah. yes. Mm-hmm. And we and saw... Then she left mm-hmm. uh, for a few years. Mm-hmm. And then um, one day um, we were... I think we was preparing for a reunion. We was all coming okay. together. And uh, she came She came back to the choir. Yeah. And no, let's rewind no. a little bit. So... <laughs> That's not it. (laughs) No, what happened? There was a choir member who was giving him a surprise birthday party. Yeah. Okay. And they called me up. They said, Trina, we're giving Danny a surprise birthday party. Do you want to come? And I was like, oh, wow. Yeah, sure. And it was at this um, restaurant in New York called Bubba Gum Shrimp. And I was like, wow, I've never been there. Let's go. Let's, you know, I haven't seen him in a long time, in a bit. It was about, what, four years? I haven't seen him. Four or five years, yeah. And, um... We get, got there, and he walked in. He was like, oh, my God. She was so excited. Yeah, I, was, I was surprised to see her because yes. uh, I haven't seen her in a long time. Mm-hmm. So um, when I got to the restaurant and I, you know, I just started seeing choir members who, mm-hmm. you know, used to sing with me. Right. And so I saw Trina, and we talked, and she gave me um, – a book. A book from T.D. Jakes. Called Emotions. Emotions. So <laughs> yes. she already started. I don't, she, <laughs> so you were already interested. In yes. <laughs> this was an well, opportunity to... S- honestly, okay. like, when I was in the choir, I already knew we were going to be together. I never said anything to him at all. You knew? Wow. I knew. I never said anything at all to him. I just... He was like an amazing friend that took us off the street. A lot wow. of the young people off the street, and we I looked at him like, wow, like, this man is a great man of God. Like, as for a 14-year-old girl, seeing that, we're all on the streets, and, like, a lot of kids from Brooklyn traveling, mm-hmm. taking the trip. So I saw him as a great gift to the kingdom. I didn't, I'm didn't. i speaking kingdom now. I didn't know about the kingdom sure. at that time, but he was a great gift to us. But because he had something on him. He had something yeah. on him at that time, and for us, it was amazing. So... But in my heart, it's like God spoke to me, but I never said a word to him, ever. I never, never said anything. It was just like, you know. And did you know too? I didn't know. (laughs) I I didn't know because back then, I mean, you know, when you on the road and you're traveling, Mm -hmm. you see a lot. Mm -hmm. And so your focus is sometimes not. All over. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's it's all over the place. Mm -hmm. So I didn't see. But um, what I respected was she didn't throw anything at me. Yeah. You know, she right. just kept she to the quiet. She yeah. kept singing and everything else. And I didn't know until later on mm-hmm. 
you know, that the Lord spoke to her and told her that I was going to be her husband. Mm -hmm. But she never came to me. Now, somebody else did that to me before. Mm -hmm. Somebody actually came to me and said, the Lord said, and I said, no, he ain't tell me. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get that word. You he don't, you don't do that to a man. You, yeah. you let God do everything. Yeah. I already so. knew that. And I was, I saw a lot of women constantly trying to, you know, okay. be yeah. with um, Danny. So, you know, it was more like, honestly, I'm going to be honest with you. I was more of a laid back. I was happy to be there, happy to be traveling and having fun with them. And he was always just so friendly and always nice to us. Yeah. And we were just cool. You know, we were just like a great, it was a friendship. But you know? she was, she mm -hmm. was always quiet though. Yeah. Trina. And I mean, I mean, we, we, we grateful to have her here today to be talking. Cause she won't, she's really laid back <laughs> behind the scenes <laughs> type person. So, um, <laughs> this is amazing, but uh, yes. Yeah, so we was um, we, we started dating um as I was getting to leave back in '05. Yes, mm -hmm. and uh, we got married in 2011. Yes. So we, what we dated, we had long distance yes relationship from 20 from 2005 mm -hmm. to 2011. Wow. He yeah. was in Canada. I was in Canada. Okay. And she was in New York yeah. and moved closer to Vermont. Yeah. Um, so that I can see her uh, more often. Well, the thing that happened is that tell the story, honey. Because okay. <laughs> I was she praying about it me. a lot. Because I was that was a time when I was growing in God and stuff, and mm -hmm. I was becoming single, unique, and whole as a woman. And um, I was praying like, God, he's all the way in Canada five years. You know what is going on? Yeah. Like, what are we right. supposed to do at that time? Yeah, you know, because you want. I was like, I don't know if this is going to work. Yeah, yeah, yeah I was just like, that. yeah, we yeah. was we were both saying like, what is what is going to happen and stuff, you know? But trusting God with it, it was what we had to do, you know. So mm -hmm. anyway, God spoke to me um, one night. I was like, Lord, show me. Cause we were, he would come in, he was coming to New York and then I would go to Canada, you know, things like that. But to do that, like for, that, that for that long, it is, wears you down. It it's a lot. But of course, you know, he and was, I was traveling. Still traveling in the yeah. He was that. traveling so, and doing a lot. So yeah. you had to really trust God in that, mm -hmm. you know? So, um, I asked the Lord in my heart, I said, God, what am I supposed to do? And I had this dream that he was asking me to move closer and I was packing my bags and my boxes and everything in the dream. And, um, I was like, okay, I just left it alone. But the next day he called me and said, why don't you move closer? <laughs> so no, I, wow. I, I knew and everything just flowed from there. And I moved to Vermont, I moved closer and we were still, you know, like dating at the time and he was mm -hmm. traveling still, but we were able to see each other even more, you know? Yeah. So. Most of our relationship was over the phone. Mm -hmm. Like we would talk on the phone mm -hmm. for six, seven hours, mm -hmm. you know, to the point where, I was snoring on the phone. Like we <laughs> yeah, we would talk for a long time. So, yes. I know people who've had those long distance relationships. And one of the things that they have said is it's, it gives you an opportunity to really know the person because yes. you're not staring at them. So you're having all Correct. of this conversation. Yes. You're talking about tons of things. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, what was that time like? Well, it was kind of easy for us because we knew each other from the choir, mm -hmm. right? So she was traveling with me and everything like that to different states and mm -hmm. things like that. So um, our conversations was mainly talking about choir and right. what do we like outside of choir. Mm -hmm. And so so it was very easy because we knew each other. Yeah. You know, there was a friendship there before we started yeah. dating. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then, okay, okay, so you moved closer, and moved then... Moved closer, and he was like, you know what? He was like, um, we're going to set a date. Nobody knew, because we, we, we would we the type that don't like everyone in our like yeah. space. In your circle. Yeah. So it yeah. was a lot of stuff, you know. So we were kind of, let's keep private. this private. Very private, yeah. mm -hmm. Let's keep this as, you know... Between the Between two the of two. you and intimate, yes. yeah. Right, that. so he was like, let's set a date. Yeah. And we, he set the date. Mm -hmm. What was it? Uh, June, June 3rd. 3rd. He set that date, date June 3rd. I said June 3rd, 2011. Mm -hmm. That's the day. That's the day. And we, I guess you call it elopement. Yeah. Because we pretty we much, did. that's what we did. We didn't have a big... Uh, big fancy wedding and mm -hmm. stuff like that. And like I said, we've known each other so long from mm -hmm. right. 92 yeah. all the way through. So yeah. it's like, you know, it was easy for us to just go ahead and get it done mm -hmm. um, without having to 
pay a lot of money. Pay a lot of money and get right. a lot of people to fly and in then, and yeah. all that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then where did y'all settle down once you got married? Was it in Canada or New York? Vermont. It was Vermont. It was Vermont. It was okay. Vermont. Uh, when I when we got married, I stayed for one year, mm-hmm. and then that's when we moved to uh, Georgia. Okay. And from Georgia to here. If I'm remembering correctly, it was you, Trina, that had the dream about the H. Am I? Is that right? Or was it no. you, Danny? It you me. had the dream. So mm-hmm. God talks to y'all in dreams. Like, yes. That's, that's incredible. For sure. That's incredible. For sure. Mm-hmm. For sure. Have you had any more dreams? <laughs> so what are you well, dreaming you know, about these days? You know, I, I dream that, you know, that he'll speak to me more, yeah. you know, and that I'll get in his presence more to hear his voice. That's yeah. what I'm trying. What was your perspective as a wife and a mother moving from where you were to Texas after Danny told you about the dream? Like, were you excited? Were you nervous? Were you, I mean, picking up the kid, like picking up all those kids and bringing them down here. That's a lot on no a mom. And like, right. I want to hear your perspective on that. I want to be honest with you. We, together we pray and ask the Lord, where should we worship? So I didn't know how God was going to answer us. So if he told me, you know, that this is my husband and whatever the answer is, if he tell us like, oh, let's do it this way, that's how it was going to be. So when he had the dream, after praying and fasting, he had that dream. He said, babe, I got it. I knew it was from God because we prayed and we asked God about it. Mm. So you're trusting God, trusting God, trusting your husband too, trusting him and just knowing that God got us. Yeah. And we ask God. Mm -hmm. So when you ask God something and he reveals it. Yeah. You do know, like, uh, uh, you gotta be strong about it. It was of course, picking up and going to a new place. You had that fear, like what is going to happen? What's the next step? Is this, you know, did he really hear from God? You know, but I knew, (laughs) but I knew like, okay. You know, this is it, this right? is it because we ask God mm-hmm. and wow. we've never sat there for three months to fast and ask God yeah. about where should we worship? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that was a question we asked, Lord. We didn't ask anything else. What state we should be in, where this, where should we worship? That's good. And when he woke up, me up in the morning, he said, I got it. Heritage of faith. <laughs> never heard of it. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. What is that? We looked it up. A real church in Crowley, Texas. Yeah, and we talked about that yeah. that last episode with Danny, like how what a miraculous thing it was that our website right. popped up right Love first. That. Love yeah. that. Like that is, the yeah. Google Analytics. God did that. Hearing God yes. did that. Yeah. Hearing from God. Yeah, the Google <laughs> Analytics did not yeah. do it that time. Yeah, yeah. There was so <laughs> many heritage <laughs> face after we looked up. Yeah, it was like, yeah sure. Yeah. It yeah, was only one that was there, literally. That's yeah. funny. Come on. Yeah. I, th- I think that's amazing. Yes. yes. That's super cool. Yes. Um, it is fun to know like these big moments like y'all were in line you submitted to your husband you hear that but i'm sure that there are times when that's not the case so how do y'all work through that (laughs) when you're when when one of y'all is like no i hear this or i hear this and it's not it doesn't line up right away how do y'all handle that what we we don't make quick decisions we table it we put it on the table and we say let's come back and revisit this in a week or two and see what happens from there um because we, we try to be very careful with uh, the decisions we make because whatever decisions we make, it's going to affect the kids as well. Mm-hmm. And so um, I always make sure, you know, and we didn't, we didn't always see eye to eye. Like I could say something and if she's in disagreement, she let me know that she doesn't agree, vice versa. And, and sometimes that led to, you know, us not speaking for a day or two. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. Um, it's about being real. Mm-hmm. And... Um, so, I mean, a day or two go by, you know, I just come home and, but she still cooked for me. Yes. <laughs> no, seriously, yeah. it was times right. we didn't speak for maybe five. This was before. Five days? No, and when we were in Vermont, it was like, <laughs> five? Five days? no, it was five days, but the Lord said, get up and go and do your wifely duties uh-huh. and wow. cook. Yeah. Yeah. Serve, and serve him. Serve him. Yeah. yeah. Serve him. But it was a time when, I was like, you had to fight. Like, okay, God, I'm going to do this. He didn't speak to me today. <laughs> but you got to do it because right. that's what the love of God is. You have to go at the, you know, you got to show right. the love of God in that area. And But that was before. It went from five days, it was Grove, to two. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. And then it went from none, none, no days. Right. No days at all. Yeah. Right. So it was a growth thing. And I look at that like, God, you're doing something. Yeah. He's perfecting those things that are concerning, concerning us. You and know? and, right. and, so, and mm-hmm. what we've learned is mm-hmm. to always make sure that the respect level mm-hmm. is where it needs to be. Mm-hmm. And wow. so she respects my time. If, if I need to get in the car right. to go for a drive mm-hmm. for a minute to clear mm-hmm. my head, Go for it, yeah. you know. Yeah. Vice versa, if she need to go mm-hmm. into her prayer closet because yeah. she's normally in the closet. Mm-hmm. But uh, <laughs> if that's where she need to go to to right. to clear yeah. her head, right. um, I should uh, give her the time to do it. Mm-hmm. So it, it's not you know one being selfish. You know, right. no, do this for me and you do yeah, that right. and I do this mm-hmm. for you. No, it's it's understanding that we are human beings. Right. Yeah. And at the same time, human beings go through different feelings. Right. And, mm-hmm. and it is our job to understand that and to respect that. And when um, when one of us have some sort of issue, we we always make each other know that I got you right. or I'm mm-hmm. there for You're you. You're on the same team. Yeah, yes. we're on the right. same team. Always. No right. matter what. Yes. The, the, the team uniform doesn't yes. change. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Same yeah. team, right. no matter what. Yes. You know. And a lot of times I communicate to God. Like, I, sometimes you just can't verbally say things. You'll say, God, help me in this area. Like, speaking right. to him on yeah. the inside instead of for saying everything you want to say, you know? So, communicate for me is communicating to God first before mm-hmm. I even say things. There's times that I didn't do that. Which but is hard. It's hard. hard. Yes, it's hard. It's, it's hard. difficult. It's it really is. Way. No, so it is. But it's a learned thing. It's a really yeah. learned thing because it, it always is. wasn't that way. I had yeah. to learn to go and talk to God first before yeah. I even say anything. Anything. Right. Yeah. Am I all there? All right. I'm. I'm growing still. You know. Right. I don't. I don't growing. know if that's a woman thing yeah. or what. But I can I'm be so... very argumentative. Yeah. I know, shocking. Mm. But so. I feel like I have to get it all out right now. Like I have to say everything I need to say yeah. right yeah. now. Right. But you don't have to do that yeah. because you're gonna make it worse. Yes. So Step good. back. Yes. So good. Step right. back. Yes. Pray. Yeah. Breathe. And yeah. then yes. yeah, that's what you so need. True. That's the there, best way to. There's there's a few times that I knew she was a surprise. For sure. <laughs> There's a few times. Oh my goodness. Let me just put that out there. Uh, yeah, 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 for sure. I love for that. For sure. <laughs> I, mean, I know. I mean, we we process things differently, like mm. husband and I, Ryan, and he's probably more like Andy as far as I'm going to get it all yeah. out right now. Mm. And we have had to say, we're going to table this for now. Mm-hmm. And we've got to tend to the kids or do something yeah. else. Right. And one of the tools we like to use is we're going to write each other a letter. Because oh, it kind else. of diffuses, um, it helps you process the emotion. So if you're going to put it on paper, mm-hmm, 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 then yeah. you better, then you think about I it. Like you that. I like so it. And then we just trade it. We learned it at some uh, marriage thing we went to, but then we just give each other the notes, the letter, and we read it while we're both there. Like he reads mine and I read his, and then we can have a conversation. Wow, and it has good. diffused so many times. That is that's awesome. Because awesome. Yeah, he's that's super brilliant. quick-witted and yeah. he already knows what he what his right. points, you know, like this is what I think that we should do in this situation or whatever. Yeah. And I am a marinator. I have to think about it. I have to hear it all. Right. I have to take it before the Lord. Wow. And then I need to bring back like, here's the here's where, here's where I'm at. Okay. I don't always have it like, mm-hmm. like yes. he does. Yeah. So that really helps. So I love that you said... Mm-hmm. You know, you have to take the emotions and, and do what you need to do, whether it's mm-hmm. go for a drive or mm-hmm. step mm-hmm. in your prayer closet or whatever, yeah. because that's where mistakes get made. Well, that's where you say things you don't. You should we made absolutely. a lot of those yeah. mistakes. You know, as, we, you know. We, we have to be careful mm-hmm. of what we say because, you know, you could say something short term because you're upset, but it mm-hmm. could have a lifetime Effect, effect yeah. to oh, yeah. it. Exactly. And so we're very careful with that. And then what really worked for us was seeing the beautiful kids that we have that yes. you know, I was just they, about to talk about gifts. Yes. They are yes. gifts. They are gifts from God to us. And we see them and we just we love our children. Yeah. And um so for us, one of the things that I stipulated in our marriages, we don't argue in front of the kids. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And so there's times when we wanted to because mm-hmm. you wanted to get what you needed to say right. out at that particular time. Mm-hmm. But we always revert back to yeah. the foundation of what the ground rules were. Yeah. Right. We don't argue in front of the kids. Mm-hmm. So that means me and her, mm-hmm. we could go into the garage and talk or mm-hmm. go into the car and sit and have a conversation. Right. Where Because I never want them to be able to say, you know, I heard daddy say this to my mom or my right. mom said this to my dad. It'll trick into their relationship. It was. Absolutely. It was. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. So in our home, there has to be peace. Yeah. yeah. There has yeah. to be. Yeah. Because even if you're not, 
it, you have something like you said, you have to go out and get your quiet time. Mm-hmm. You know, it helps a lot. You know, just getting at alone time, just to think and ask God about whatever just happened. You know, or if it was a heated situation, you know, Lord, what is your what is what is your thoughts on it? You know, and not go by the right now. You know, you God, always thinking am about I wrong? am I yeah. wrong? Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, am I yeah. wrong? Did I make that mistake? Did I did I mess? Yeah, you did. And then, yeah. and then yeah, yeah, you yeah, did. and then yeah. be willing to come yeah, back, back and, and say, say sorry. Yes. Now I was the type of person. Mm-hmm. Where I, I, he would never, I, I ain't say I ain't, he would never say sorry. Like, we just God, move on. Serious? With we just yeah, move on. So. You know, we just moving on, and I'm right. like, all right, on to the next. Yeah. But I've learned mm-hmm. over the years. You know, mm-hmm. it's very important to come back and say, I'm sorry. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, I apologize. I was wrong for that. I said the wrong thing, mm-hmm. or even how I said it right. yeah. could have been right. wrong. Yeah. You know right. what I mean? Because what you could say could be spot on, mm. but it's how we say, sure. you know, those mm. things. So. Tone is everything. Absolutely. Yeah. He definitely have definitely grown because he'll apologize. Quickly. He'll quickly, you know, yeah. if, if he's Don't. wrong, he'll say, uh, you know, right. I did. If I'm yeah. wrong now, hey, I got a question. I made a though. mistake. Did you, like, whenever you was mad at me and stuff, did you, did you, uh, did you always make my food with the same love, or was it? I uh, I had to get up and just do it because you ate it. Right? <laughs> Hilarious! Oh my gosh! Did you make my food with that much love? <laughs> no, I've slain, a little I've, less I've, love in that meal. I've, 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 I've slain some pots and pans no. around. Uh, it like, it has dinner to be is going to be served. <laughs> Wait, it has you to be better. love, right? Because if yeah. you if you go through a heated conversation. And some people that I am not getting up to do your food like yeah. oh, some people yeah, know right. I'm not making. But God said, get up, show yeah. my love, and just make your make his food. Yeah, just right. do it. There just was a few it. times I was upset, and I was in the McDonald's drive through. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Sometimes yeah. I didn't. Yeah. I didn't yeah. Sometimes, sometimes I didn't wait for you. Didn't wait for you. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. I was like, "Keep your food." It's true. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to McDonald's. <laughs> That's only because I waited they long to make it. Like, I'm, I'm trying to tell you. Yeah, and then and so <laughs> so sometimes like. You know, at a certain time, she would cook and stuff like that. And I noticed, like, the time was a little later than right. normal. And I was like, oh, she going to act like that. Because I was like with the process. She don't want to cook for me. <laughs> yes. And I just jump in the car and I go eat. Go I come back with this big God. bag of food yes. and I'm good. So, and you're good. Yeah. Oh my well, goodness. and there's something, maybe Trina, you can speak to this. Something, I think men need to not be hangry when you're having a conversation. So I always make sure my husband is fed before we get into a deep and dirty <laughs> oh, conversation. Oh, that's good. Thank you for that. So, so I think you're doing good feeding oh, him even you. when you're upset. Absolutely. So, never thought of it that never. way. No. Never. I'm a better wife. I'm a better communicator if mm-hmm. I'm slept, if I have a good night's sleep. Okay. Right. You know, a lot of times the mistakes I make are when I'm tired or right. fatigued mm-hmm. or worn out. Um, if I'm hungry, of course, I'm not as, I'm not as... <laughs> Sweet, got and you, of course, you, and so I feel like I should give Ryan the same level of, I got you. yeah, you know, yeah, like, cool. like if I want the best of Ryan, yeah. he, he needs to be fed, that is so <laughs> good. you know, yeah. like those kind of things. That is so that true because he's like so, that too. Like if he's not know, eating, right? If he's not eating, he will be like, I am not at the level you need me to be right now. Yeah. When he was a kid, his mom would tell you that she would be cooking, uh-huh. and he she take a long time. He would go upstairs and just sleep. Yeah, so I, I, I go upstairs, upset, yeah. go in my right. room, and I just lay in the bed until the food is ready. Yeah. Right. Of, <laughs> I don't know what's going on here, but right. Yeah. So y'all said that you model you model not fighting in front of your kids. Yes. So when you do communicate in front of your kids, uh, what does that look like? What do you want to them to pick up from your relationship? I want them to see uh, love in the realest or the purest form that it can possibly. be being like we don't we don't put on you know it's not a sh- uh some sort of gimmick for for us in front of them they see you know real mom real dad they see real issues real things that you got to go through but what we do is we always make them see the love that comes mm-hmm, from yes. all of that you know um what what does a miracle look like coming from a messy situation. Right. So we don't let them see the messy situation. Mm-hmm. We let them see, wow, out of all that came this. Yeah. Right. And it it excites them. We always keep them at a level where um, if there's any questions they might have, mm-hmm. we want them to come and ask us and not be afraid or uh, yeah. not feel that uh, we're going to judge them or... Mm-hmm. Um, 
you know, just do anything to them that make them feel uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. We we make it where, hey, this is this is a family of love. This is mm-hmm. a family of peace. However, things do happen sometimes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, certain things they might want, we probably can't get it right then and there. We explain to them about, you know, provision and mm-hmm. saving and all those type of things. So, the the kids' age gap is your oldest is how old is she? 21. She's 21, and then uh, Zephaniah is Zephaniah four. Is four. Yes. So that's like that's a pretty big age gap in kids. How do you handle how do you handle parenting that many different ages? Like, are you just? I, I want to know from you. I'm still learning. Yeah. I'm being honest <laughs> with you. I am still learning. Yeah. I am learning how to. Because every it all kid together. needs is yes. different. Yeah, every, learning sure. the different personalities, you know. Zephaniah might want mommy to fix his shoe while Zion might want me to sit down with him and just hold him or something. You know, yeah. everybody's different, you know. And I feel like with them, they they really do have different personalities. They, I mean, Alonce is more of a laid back. She'll sit in her room. And we're like, oh, come on. <laughs> no, but I want to be in my room. Come hang you know, out with come us. Come hang out with us, you know. Journey, she's more of the, you know, come sit by mommy, you know. Mm-hmm. Zephaniah, I want to tuck underneath daddy. <laughs> so they all, they're all different, you know. And just, like I said, learning and asking God how to deal with that. I'm still even learning in that yeah. area. Trying how do you all be do it here. together? Like parenting together. Yes. I mean, we, I, we have kids that will... You know, they tempt to try to come necessarily mm-hmm. between us, but they'll go, well, mom said, oh, yeah. well, dad said, so how do y'all? Oh, yeah. that's oh, that, 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 that is so good. Yeah. So we, well, we flip it on them because, uh, you know, if they're doing something and something is going on, Trina will say, I'm going to tell daddy. Mm-hmm. And when she say that, Everything gets in line. Everything cleans up. Isn't yeah, that everything right. cleans up <laughs> because yeah. they automatically Same. like, okay, yes. we don't want to deal with that part. So, right. so whatever is going on, we we came to mm-hmm. an agreement. Like, no, yes. we don't let nobody come in between, mm-hmm. no matter what. Right. If they mm-hmm. if they try it, mm-hmm. you know, one will run to her. Can I have candy? Yeah. Or come to me. Uh-huh. Now, see, this is another thing that I had to learn <laughs> because man, this is tes- <laughs> testimony service, but um. Another thing I had to learn was they, they, you know, if they come to me, they know they could get whatever it is. I don't care. Like, Daddy, I want some candy. You just say yes. And I'm like, just take the bag, man. Go ahead. You know, <laughs> hurry up. Get out of here. You know, just run. And um, she's more like, no, there's a time yeah. that they're supposed to have this candy. Mm-hmm. They, they, You know, they'll ask me right after breakfast. I mean, 20 minutes after, Dad, could I get a ring pop? Or mm-hmm. And I'm like. Sure. Like, <laughs> bring me one. Yeah. Can I get a ring? Oh, yeah. yeah, bring me one. I'm in here working on this song yeah. real quick. Come on, I'm, you know. It's so true. Come on it's in so here. True. You know, yeah. sing this part while you while you doing it. But she's. <laughs> I'm more like. She's more like nah. You know, your it, teeth it's, is gonna. You can't eat so much candy. You can have candy, yeah. but not too much. Right. You yeah. know. So, but just trying to balance that out because you still want to respect you know, the marriage and stuff. You don't want to just be like yeah. going back and forth. So if he say, okay, you can have the candy, sometimes you have to pull back mm-hmm. yeah. and, as then, a wife and say, yeah. you know. Yeah, but then, but then mm-hmm. learning, mm-hmm. you know, they'll come to me after the fact of going to her. And she already they, told yes, me yes. that, you know, what the deal right, was. Is, mm-hmm. So I would say, oh, mommy already said no. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. We're clear. Yeah. Done, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I can't relate. I just, oh, yeah, I totally can relate. relate. That is a real thing. So it is. Yeah, Addie can literally have whatever she wants. So I don't care. Oh, my <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Well, that's your only baby. So <laughs> that's my only one. That's your only one. Yeah. No, we definitely. That, that story gonna definitely change. Yeah, I know it will change. It'll <laughs> yes. change. It'll we change. we don't allow the divide and conquer at our house no, either. No, no, no. And mm-hmm. for the most part, mm-hmm. I mean, you all have good kids too. Mm-hmm. Like, they they understand. Yes. They like if mom said no, dad say no too. Yeah. Mom said yes, dad say no. They yes are, too. and I'm not just saying this because they are ours, but they're very respectful. We don't. Yeah. We don't. Yeah. We don't have a lot of issues with them at yeah. all. That's I'm telling you. I mean, and I used candy. Yeah. But that's pretty much the deal. Like, yeah, right. When whenever we have an issue, it's because they want something. Yeah. 
like candy or something like that. But right. anything other than that, they're very respectful. If it's time for bed, we don't have to go through a whole right. shebang on getting them together. Right. And what we do every single night, we pray together. Every night. Yeah. It doesn't matter if I'm out of town or something. We'll do it over the phone. Right. right. So we're always, and we, we got that structure. And now they know what how we do things because after... Um, we put them to bed. Trina and I, we'll sit together and we'll read uh, mm -hmm. the Bible. And so mm -hmm. now we got it where they're get, they're getting to bed and they be like, oh, y'all about to read? Y'all about to read the Bible? <laughs> mm -hmm. And I caught on to that too because I was like, maybe they want us want to read to. so they With can get you. up and, and know that. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh. And, yes. and, yeah. Parents are going to be distracted. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Yeah. Y'all yeah. reading the Bible? <laughs> It's true. Yeah. And then yes. you hear little toys and paper and all that stuff. <laughs> right. Jumping yeah. off the bed. Oh my right. Jumping off the bunk, the boys, yeah. right. you know. Typical so. boys, but typical boys. Yeah, but yeah. they but they're very uh respectful and they honor us and they they, they love us very, very much. Yeah. Yeah, I believe that too. And mm -hmm. Andy and I both serve in kids in different areas, different <laughs> aspects, but I would say that's true about your 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 parenting is Yeah, Alante's yeah. always yeah. serving in kids. Yeah. She's yes. always yeah, always she serving. Is. She was on Sunday, she was in there with my niece, and my niece was just crying her head off. And <laughs> Alante was just, uh, she was watching Encanto on the Aww. phone, and she's just, she's so sweet. Yeah, yes. she's awesome. Yeah, she's Alante awesome. is so funny. It was when she was a kid. She always, I, I just believe she had that servant in her because we were in, um, we was, she was about maybe seven. We was in school, and I was driving her to school. Her teacher said, I got to talk to you about something. Um, Alante in the middle of the classroom, got up and just started sweeping. <laughs> I believe that. She, started cleaning. I she believe just got that up and cleaning. Thing. And I was like, Aww. she was like, it was just so sweet. So she just got up she and just started sweeping the classroom. She just has such a servant's It's like 25 heart. kids. <laughs> <laughs> she gets like, up. this room just, needs to be swept. I'll do it. so yeah. funny, yes. That's, that's super sweet. Yes, well, so speaking, all of them. They are. They're mm -hmm. incredible kids. Yes. You all have done a great job. And mm -hmm. it's fun to be part of it and see their little, yeah. their little growth. They're growing fast. Yes. Yeah. About each other. What is a funny quirk or something unique about your spouse that... Uh, or something oh. something that your spouse does that's in different or interesting or endearing, endearing, <laughs> all those oh. things. I would say, I mean, I always love this about Danny. He keeps me laughing. <laughs> he loves to joke. I just love that about him. That is a good thing for me. He just keeps me <laughs> laughing all the time. And I was like, I've never met anybody who just keep me laughing. Like we were in a restaurant one time and we just was laughing so hard. And this people just like, I just love your couple. Like you guys are amazing. He always keep me laughing. And I love that about oh. him. Wow. <laughs> so follow that, Danny. Yeah. Yes. Oh, man. How, how, how do Better I follow begin. that? Uh, I, I, I love the way, I love to see her the way she she is with the kids. Like the fun that they have when they come around her, she becomes like a kid. Mm -hmm. And so for me, <laughs> you know, for me, Aww. yeah, for me, it, that does something to a dad, like yeah. to see his wife or, or husband, to see his wife mm -hmm. uh, getting down dirty with them, yeah, getting on the floor and rolling around. On and, their yeah. level. On their yeah. level. Yeah. And so for me, you know, uh, that really uh, brightens me up a lot mm, to that. see her because, um, you know, a lot of times people don't are not willing to go mm -hmm. to that extreme sure. to make yeah. sure someone else is happy. Mm -hmm. And so for me, I, I like to see the sacrifices that she's willing to make. You know, they pulling her hair, they pulling on her, <laughs> right. her shirt, and they just jumping on her and mm -hmm. all that stuff. Piggyback and back. and yeah, piggyback riding. <laughs> <laughs> and 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 she's not complaining about it. Mm. And to be honest, I have not heard her not once tell him no stop or get off me or yeah. anything right. like that. And I never really tell her this stuff, but that really like makes me feel good. Oh, yeah. that's so Aww. sweet. <laughs> <laughs> we do have a game, but I had one more question came to mind. Just because sure. you've been you've been in ministry basically your whole marriage, right? Yeah. What is that dynamic like? Um, I don't know if it's, you'd call it living in a glass house where people, you know, your relationship can kind of sometimes be on display a little bit. Mm -hmm. What mm -hmm. is that like for you guys to navigate? Um, 
letting the people see, you know, what you see is what you get. You know, um, just trying to be as real and transparent as possible. However, um, making sure that there's barriers uh, that we set mm -hmm. um, because, you know, you can have people who can be very opinionated. Right. And what we have to do is be very careful of who we allow to speak in to mm -hmm. our marriage and into our lives. Because some people could be, you know, talking to you from afar and, and, and sometimes they're not even married. Mm -hmm. but they got suggestions and opinions. And, mm -hmm. and so for one thing I do is I make sure I guard yeah. Yeah. the whole household. Mm -hmm. I guard mm -hmm. that where um, if it's not something that's going to bring correction in the right way, then I don't let it get through the door. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just being adaptable. I've always been adaptable to every situation as a woman, you know, mm -hmm. taking that's on true. roles. You have to be able to adapt to situations mm -hmm. and just be thankful in those situations. So that's, I think for me, is just being adaptable to the lifestyle that God has given us, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. You ready for, yeah, I'm yeah. ready. This one's fun. Okay. We're going to name a couple different most likely twos. And I want y'all to say who's most likely to do this. So <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going I'm to do the first it's one. Yeah. It is. is it's all for fun. Who's most likely to forget an anniversary? <laughs> oh, the looks. Oh, I wish this was on video. They this is stare oh, at each other. fantastic. Oh, my goodness. I've never forgotten an anniversary. Did I? No. Oh, how ah. sweet. Oh, are you I, I, really? No, really? seriously. Wow. Really? Yeah. Okay. Because I got it written down. <laughs> <laughs> it's on the calendar. Oh, right? yes. <laughs> it's written down. Really? Well. What about who is most likely to forget something at home? Me. Trina. Definitely. For sure. Really? Definitely. Yes. yes. Like all the time? Like all the, all the yes. time. Yes. Yes. It will be me. Yes. I will definitely. Mm -hmm. yes. You're a mom. You have a lot to yes. handle. It's, <laughs> it's all good. Ooh, yes. Oh, I like this one. Most likely to get angry when driving. <laughs> <laughs> me. Danny. Okay. That took a minute to get yeah. out your mouth. <laughs> me. I be trying to get to church. I want to be on time. I know. Right. Just right. don't get in front of him and drive slow because he. Oh, that, that, <laughs> it I, always happens to him when we're driving. Uh, there's always a car who drive really, really slow. And they get in front of and me get in front, right. and just slow down and start doing like 10. And I I'm understand like, that. Yeah. I got yes. somewhere yeah. to be. Right. How do Please. they not know that you have somewhere to be? Why, right. They should know. Right. Yes. They should know you're trying to get to church. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. So who's more likely to buy a just because gift? Oh. Outside of. <laughs> <laughs> They're both uh, raising their hands. Yes. Okay, just because. Just because. Okay. Just because. Just yeah. because. Yeah, she got it. Yeah. She got that. She got that. That's what you like to do. I do. Yeah. Yes. This all I thought of you. Yes. yes. I put a little card on top of his window. Yeah, there's a few times yeah. I got in the car mm -hmm. and um, there was a card and there was a, <gasps> a, a bottle of cologne in there for me. Because she knows I love cologne. Yeah. And so Aww. there's been... Plenty of times yeah. when I, I got in the car and, this, and I was about to go back in the house and say, hey, there's a bag, mm -hmm. you know, on my on the driver's seat. But I was just looking and it was a card and yeah. it would be from her. Yeah, so, sweet. Yeah, so that's amazing. That's I love cool. that. I like doing yes. stuff like that. I like, love that. Can you Surprising. do it again? <laughs> <laughs> sure. <All right. laughs> who's, who's more likely to win a board game? Who's more competitive? Danny. Me. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Me. Yes. Yeah. Right now, I'm the. Uh, we got different games we play at the yes. house, and so right now, I'm the ultimate champion. He is of. Yeah. Um, I declare war. I declare war. Yes. We play ultimate a card game. Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's so. a family title for sure. Yeah, ultimate right. champion. Ultimate champion. Ultimate. Yeah. What other What other board games do y'all play? Do y'all play? Um, we like playing a lot of cards, like cards. little card, card game. games, yeah. things mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, we um, we did play Monopoly at one time. Yeah, but that's too long. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Monopoly takes hours. It does. And it hours. does. Yes, it, does. it does. With, it does. We did it with the kids before, Ugh. and it just takes so long. <laughs> we they, love a good Candyland. It's simple and it goes yeah. really yeah. fast. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. They, they they so. Uh, they like the toys, the little yeah, things little that come, the hat <laughs> and the dog car. and somebody yeah. else. Yes. And, so that's, we don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I will stick to the cards. Yeah. yeah. Cards. Uh, who's more likely to overspend or buy something ridiculous? Me. 
Yeah. I would, oh, oh for, no! Oh, but ridiculous! Okay, hold oh, up! Like oh, like something big. Oh, He's more gosh. of the big. Like he would definitely get something the for seven hundred dollars, <laughs> and I would go like, "Hey, I'll get, I'll spend three dollars or four dollars or five dollars on the." But when it comes to like a gift for him, I would do something um, big for him. But he's yeah. more of the like. He'll get something huge. She would. I'm he definitely through. would. Yeah. I'm, yes. I'm thinking like, okay, we got to do this. We yeah. Do this. Yeah. I'm coming through. Yeah. I I always try to get something to make her eyes get big. Yeah. So like a whoopee cushion yeah. or <laughs> like something to make her laugh. Yeah. 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 Okay, I want to know who's most likely to forget to pick up a kid. Trina. I would pick. Oh my gosh! Fast. I did that before. <laughs> <laughs> Was it you? Well, I mean, I've gotten better. That's yeah. good. Grow. That's good. Yes. Right? You remembered. I remember. Uh, yes. I mean, all the kids are accounted for now. <laughs> oh, yes, so we're good. Course. We're fine. It's all good. Oh my god. Uh, oh, what god. about most likely to fall asleep during a movie? Oh, that's me. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Especially if we had a movie theater. Right. The lights are out. The seat is. Uh, Cushion and mm. perfect for napping. It's over. Yes. I, I, I <laughs> normally get up, and it, that happened a few times when we were just dating, right. even before we were married. Oh, and wow. uh, I woke up, the credits was coming up. So, yeah, that's me. Yes, we. Oh, I don't know what we were watching, but I looked. Up, I was like, "We're dating. He's sleeping. He's like snoring, <laughs> <laughs> snoring in the theater." Yes, yeah. Okay, as the uh, music pastor here at heritage i want to do this last one mm -hmm. who is most likely to pick the music in the car is it you or is it trina it's gonna be you it's me mm. yeah yeah I Yours. Pick the music. you pick the music yeah. that's your domain yes. huh mm -hmm. yeah but you know it's time they have their request though yeah. oh, okay <laughs> so i honor you're the request. dj they put in the request yeah, Absolutely. yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. submit your requests on time and <laughs> submit yeah. it on time yes. <laughs> i'll I get it on there for you that's awesome <laughs> So one of the ways we always close these episodes and we're kind of making a twist with this couple series is we ask people, uh, you know, how are you winning in life? Our, the theme of our house is, you know, the church is uh, winning in life, making winners in mm -hmm. life. So I want to know how your spouse is winning in life. So you each can take a turn to answer. How is, how is your spouse winning right now? I think he's winning because he's around a lot of winners. Mm. He's surrounded by a lot of winners. I am. And it helps him to be a better winner. Good. So that's how I look at it. He's that's around good. a lot of winners. I am. This church is definitely yes, a winning church, winners. Yeah. full of winners. Yeah. So he's around a lot of winners. Mm -hmm. That's, that's how he's winning. I love that. That's really good. It's true. And I, I believe that she's winning uh, by her relationship with God mm -hmm. uh, to see how strong she is mm -hmm. in her faith without wavering mm -hmm. um and she's very happy yeah right i am <laughs> no yes i am happy she's very I happy am. and yes. so mm -hmm. that's a winner mm -hmm. somebody yes. who's very happy mm -hmm. got a lot of joy yes right yes she's yes happy. i am that's a winner that's awesome well, and that's why you guys are yes. on this episode and on this series is because you guys are winning in life and we yes. love mm -hmm. watching your family and mm -hmm. watching you all thrive and what your God's called you to do here at Heritage. It's Thank just you. a beautiful thing. We are yes. really just blessed that God called you here. Yeah. I have to say it's, mm -hmm. it's been a magnificent journey so far yes. to have y'all part of our church family. Yes. Seven so. years now, y'all. Yes. Seven years. Yes. Wow. Years. And we love it. Love it. You know, every, and everything you know, ups and downs, in and out. I just love the fact that we're growing. Absolutely. That is amazing to me, to this, see growth. This ministry, this church mm -hmm. has helped us. Mm -hmm. in a, I, I, I dare not uh, close this without saying this, yes. mm -hmm. that this church have strengthened mm -hmm. our marriage because mm -hmm. of the sermons that come forth. Yes. We listen back to them, mm -hmm. and there's always something that you could get from mm -hmm. the sermon that you can... Uh, Put in your marriage right, right uh, yeah. to strengthen your marriage and to allow your marriage to grow. Yes. So this church has really, really helped us. And mm -hmm. it's because of the ones that we see before us, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. our pastors, yes. you know, mm -hmm. Dr. Savell, Miss Carolyn, mm -hmm. they, they, it's just, they, when you see them, it's not like, oh, we just doing this for now. Mm -hmm. You know, what you see is what you get yes. as I forestated mm -hmm. yes. in the beginning. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of love in mm. these married couples. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so we learned to take that as well. Yes. And put it in our marriage. Yeah. It's yes. good. 
Well, thank you guys so much for joining us. This was an awesome conversation. I love talking to y'all. Y'all are so fun. <laughs> thank you to all the listeners out there. And don't forget that every Friday, a new episode drops. So tune in next Friday for Winning Conversations. 